everyone. Welcome back to the Forgotten Circus. And I do mean everyone. So we're going to talk about, ah, oh man, I'm so, I'm so like the, the delay on, so it's delayed indefinitely for the Ray movie. This movie should not be delayed. I think this movie is the highest overlooked. It's going to be the most captivating. Sarcastic. It's going to be, you know, the greatest Star Wars movie ever made. And it will make sense to that whole trash of a saga. Well, not saga, but the whole trash of a trilogy. The sequels. It will make them, it will make it all make sense with this movie. This movie needs to come out. It really does. Because I want to know. Oh, you don't really want to know that. How much more worse or how much more you can ruin a generation of fans to watch this piece of trash movie that I know that you're going to. That's what, that's what you're doing, Disney, with Lucasfilm. I want it to come out. It needs to come out. Please come out. Come out. Come out. Please come out. And I want you to release that movie and release the prequel tri trilogies, all three of those, because they're from a long time ago. We're going to do a little rat race here. Release the prequels same day and date as your captivating cinema masterpiece that you're going to create that has now been delayed indefinitely. Put them in the theater at the same time. See who gets more money. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. You have pissed off the fan base so much. You'll still make some money. But they're going to they're gonna prove a point. I bet you the fan base of Star Wars and all the Star Wars nerds and all the Star Wars heads will go see the prequels just out of spite of not watching that movie. And it's no disrespect to Daisy Ridley, Adam Driver. They're all great actors and actresses. John Boyega. All the people that got wasted in that mess of a movie. No disrespect to y'all. Y'all was just reading lines and getting a paycheck because that's damn sure what it felt like. I, 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 it needs to come out. It really does. Because you know what? You want to get rid of the whole Skywalker and start with a new, a whole new era of Star Wars, which would, sounded good, right? In theory. Um, but the only one that hit on anything out of your whole, and it wasn't even in that trilogy was Rogue One. That's it only successful one and like i'm not putting the, the tv shows the mandalorian we talk about movies we talk about the silver screen it's absolutely i it's mind-boggling that you had the roadmap to success and you were an inch away from the target disney and lucasfilm and you still missed so now it's been delayed. And then you had the director of the movie, which is a female, and I respect that. Um, I really think that Bryce Dallas Howard should get a shot at directing a Star Wars. And she is also a female. And she did some of the best episodes on The Mandalorian. So Charmaine obeyed us. Uh, what's her name? Charmaine. Yeah. Char Charmaine obeyed Shinoy. Did not help this product out at all by what she said and it's from years ago so let's not fault her on that that's what she was saying for a documentary years ago um that we, if you if you're a star wars if you're watching this because you watch stars you know what she said so that didn't help and i think that might have been the final nail in the coffin by those antics because what you said you like to make men feel uncomfortable right you like doing that well i'm uncomfortable thinking that you like doing that because i'm very respectful of people and it's it's not it's not a game so but that's from years ago who knows she probably changed probably but that's how disney fans are disney and star wars fan well star wars fans disney's just you know the parent company of it and they own it it's still disney damn it <laughs> but anyway, um, they'll look stuff like up like that up and attach it. That's what they do. Because it's it's like he said, it's a product, right? It's a brand name. That's a brand name. It's a household name. 
Lucasfilm Star Wars. George Lucas. Household names. Bit of, bit of content and a yeah. brand name. Bit of- and then y- y'all treat y'all treating this product like it's a crackhead cousin. <laughs> I don't know how you mess this up. I don't know how the the fall of this and why why do we want a Ray movie? Why? But I want it. You want this. You want this so it will be the final it'll be the final chip that falls. They're like, yeah, sell that shit. Disney, sell it to somebody else that could do something with it. Ray Skywalker. Please do. And this is how bad it is, right? From all the tr- from the sequels. So I bought this right here. Does anybody know who this is? Oh no, no, wait, wait. Let me guess. Okay, so when you when you when you look at this, this is the Funko Pop. There, there's a reason why I bought this. One, so I can it, it stays as like a painful memory of how you messed Star Wars up. This was the start. This little see, it started a little bit, and then so I think that this this Funko Pop within the next thirty years will probably it has to be worth a million dollars because I'm pretty sure nobody bought this. And that's why that's why I bought it. And that's why I want this movie to come out. See, I bought this because I'm pretty sure they've all gotten thrown in the trash, disposed of, couldn't sell, sent to like other countries where they're probably like, yeah, what is this? Whatever. You know, that's yeah. Like, oh, we're bringing toys. Disney's Disney sending toys for the kids around the world that are underprivileged. Yeah, I wonder why. OK, for a tax write off. That's about it. That So I'm keeping that. So if you know who Rose Tigo is, hmm. I, I just don't understand how you 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 messed up. Uh, like you had Adam Driver, which is an amazing talent. You messed him up with Kylo Ren. It started off kind of good, then you turned him to a whiny brat, and then then you had um, Ray, which was all of a sudden wasn't. Well, it's Ray. Ray Skywalker. And then all of a sudden she was Ray Palpatine. And then Ray Skywalker. And you know what? Somehow Emperor Palpatine returned. Couldn't Snoke was fine. Somehow Palpatine returned. I don't I don't understand. Snoke was menacing. He was just as menacing as Palpatine. You had so many directions to go, and now you want to try and fix it. And John Boyega, I'm sorry, man. You should have been a Jedi, bro. I'm sorry. That's what everybody was waiting for. Like everybody was telling you like, oh, do do you guys read what the fans say? Like you have so much fan fiction. All that. Do you ever look at it? Lucasfilm and Disney. Do you ever look at what the fans say? Like the comments and stuff. You know, when they're like, when they're pumped about it, like, yo, he going to be a scout. They're going to be a team. Yo. Yeah. Sometimes you might want to look at that and be like, hey, we need to rewrite that script a little bit. I like that idea. I like that. Cause. I didn't know where we you're going that way. I, I couldn't figure it out that we we're going that way, but I like that idea. Let's, let's have uh, more, more, more uh, Jedi in there. And it makes sense. No, they can't, they can't read the room. They're, they're the type of people that during a magic trick, they keep their eyes closed the whole time. you like, I could feel it. But like, did, but did you see the trick? You know? No, it's a magic trick. They forgot all about the prestige. They'll make it Star Wars. Star Wars was all about prestige. It was a brand name. I'm pretty sure there's people out there that have tattoos of a Star War, of every Star Wars character. I bet you every Star Wars character, somebody has a tattoo. That's how it was because it was a brand name and you ruined it. And now you want to come out with a Ray movie. Bring it out. Please bring it out. I want you to bring it out. Please bring it out. I, I want to watch it so I can see how bad Star Wars is. You know when you want when you want to watch a team that you don't like anymore, you want to watch them lose by a lot. Yeah, that's that. But I still love Star Wars, the old stuff. But I don't know. So it's been the Ray movie has been uh, indefinitely. Ray Skywalker delayed or delayed indefinitely, as it should. Not my problem, because you know, it's Ray. Ray Skywalker. Which. No disrespect for Daisy Ridley, but it's Ray. Ray Skywalker. So, anyway, tell me what you think. Like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I want everybody to subscribe. It takes one little click. And you can hit me up on X and uh, post 
Um, but tell me what you think. What's your thoughts about this whole delayed situation? Are you worried about Star Wars? Are you that type of person who's like, oh, I want to see this movie like me? I want to see this movie come out. So it's just the final straw where they got to sell Star Wars to somebody else that can do it better because obviously Disney you can't even handle your parks right now. So uh, thank you. But anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. And I want everyone to subscribe. And I do mean everyone.